Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about past papers in which we will discuss MCQs. First of all, the first question is to find the ratio of 1 femtometer to 1 nanometer. So the question is that the ratio, ratio means the over, a sign of over between two terms. So 1 femtometer is a specific term and 1 nanometer is also a specific term. So we know the value of 1 femtometer, the first value is 1 femtometer and it will be on the over sign, on the above of the over sign, 10 to minus 15 is femtometer over due to ratio of 10 to power minus 9 which is nanometer. So the solution of this is 10 to power minus 15 and this uh, below term can be go to the upper side and its sign will be changed from negative to positive. So it will be 10 raised to the power plus 9. So the final answer will be in this case base are same and the power can be added 10 raised to the power minus 15 plus 9 is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 6. This is the final answer. You can check this answer in the exam. Now another question is that in order to find the relation in this relation f is equal to 6 pi eta r v find dimension of coefficient of viscosity. In this expression f is equal to 6 pi eta r v the eta is a dimension or it eta is a coefficient of viscosity. So first of all from this expression we need to calculate the value of eta. This is the expression for drag force. So eta is equal to uh, force divided by 6 pi and r v 6 pi and r v so 6 and pi is a constant quantity we cannot include in units or dimension so the final term will be force divided by r and v so we know the si unit of force is newton and the unit of radius is equal to meter and unit of velocity is meter per second so we will combine all the term in in the same sequence this final term will be newton per meter square m minus 2 and s plus 1 because it on the above side it become uh, positive 1 so if we open the value of newton in this expression the final term for the value of units of new units of coefficient of viscosity is Newton per meter square into second. So the, if we open the value of Newton, it is kilogram meter per second square and meter square in the si same side and second. So if we combine this, base of the meter is same but power can be added. So kilogram meter minus one, S minus one, second minus one. So the dimension comes from uh, kilogram, dimension of kilogram is meter dimension of kilogram is capital M dimension of meter is L minus 1 dimension of time or second is T minus 1 this is the final dimension for the coefficient of viscosity in this expression and you can take this answer in the MCQs so in the next question we need to calculate the work done because we have given force and displacement so this force is given in the form of I and J. This displacement is given in the form of J I and J. So we need to calculate the work done. The formula for work done is a dot product of force and displacement. So this is these two are vector quantities. We will I will add error head on this term force and displacement. So uh, in the magnitude it will be simply multiplied. So in the dot product 2I plus 4J Newton is a force will be dot product will be 5i plus 2j so in the dot product only i's term will be multiplied by i's term and j term multiplied by j's term the final answer will be 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 plus sign will be plus and 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 the final answer is 18 and the unit of work is joule the final answer is your you can tick this 18 joule Next question is that sum of two perpendicular forces 8 Newton and 6 Newton. We need to calculate the sum. First of all we need to understand that force is a vector quantity and if we add these two terms or the two, these two forces that are perpendicular 
for example 8 newton is horizontal direction and 6 newton is in vertical direction these two forces are perpendicular with each other so if uh, according to rules of vector we can add this vector and find the resultant so we need to find the sum the resultant will be sum sum of those these two forces 8 newton and 6 newton can be added the final answer will be 14 newton this is the final answer you can take in the fine uh, 18 new 14 newton in the answer box in the exam so the next question is that find the distance covered by freely falling body in two seconds having the initial velocity is zero we need to calculate the distance we have given the time and initial velocity which is zero because the body was at rest from the second law or second equation of motion s is equal to v i t plus 1 by 2 a t square so we need to calculate distance distance is s and v i t velocity and acceleration is given so s is equal to initial velocity is 0 the whole term will be v 0 1 by 2 so body is falling freely in the in the statement it means that it is moving downward due to gravity so acceleration will give, will be used as gravity so s is equal to 0 plus 1 by 2 it will be 1 by 2 x value of g is 9.8 and t square is we have a value of t 2 second it will be 2 square so the final expression or final value of displacement is equal to 1 by 2 into 9.8 multiply by 4 2 square is 4 the when 2 is multi divided by 2 the final answer will be 9.8 multiply by 2 is will be 19.6 the unit of distance or displacement is meter so 19.6 meters next question is that uh, two revolution are equal to first of all revolution comes from circular motion so one revolution when a body covers a displacement or distance of one revolution it is equal to 2 pi it covers a 2 pi radian radian is a solid angle or one revolution is equal to 2 pi radian so we have given in the question that two revolution so uh, one will be multiplied by two two revolution is equal to four radians because every every side we need to multiply by two it will be four radian in the final exam or in the entry test exam you can correct or put the answer of four newton or four pi radians but uh, we can also calculate the one revolution is equal to 360 degrees uh, we can also convert into degrees so two revolution is equal to 360 multiplied by two it will be 720 degrees you can also put 720 degree in the correct answer or in the multiple choice the last question is that find out the relationship of terminal velocity with the radius of spherical object so in this question two things i have been asked terminal velocity and radius the relationship between this we need to know the, uh, the expression of terminal velocity which is 2 rho g r square over 9 eta in this expression you can see that 2 is a constant value or constant quantity rho or density is also a constant quantity g is gravitational constant and constant quantity 9 is also a constant and eta is a coefficient is also a constant quantity only r square is related to v t or terminal velocity so terminal velocity is directly proportional to square of the radius of the particle so you can put the right answer in the uh, in the option box that v term vt or terminal velocity is directly related to square of the radius up till now we have finished in the next video i will uh, solve more questions related to past papers stay tuned and if you have any question you can contact me in my email address and please subscribe my channel for more videos see you soon bye bye